So hello everyone. Uh, here we are, part two. Um, and uh, this is the second video I'm doing about the upgrades that I did. Um, in this video, I'm gonna tell you about the tweeters. I'm gonna show you the tweeters that I installed on this 2017 Honda Core Sport. Um, so, like I said in the first video, this is manual transmission vehicle. The engine is 2.4 chain driven. Um, now it's mid January 2019. I installed the tweeters like a week ago. Uh, and I also installed something else inside the car uh, something simple. And uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the upgrades that you can do to the car. Uh, you know, the one that I know about. Um, so, yeah, let's start with the tweeters. In the first video, I was talking about coilovers, but actually, that's the wrong word. Crossovers is the right thing. Uh, I had to get crossovers for the tweeters because the tweeters that I bought, they came without the crossovers. And you actually need the crossovers to protect the tweeters from blowing up. So, uh, let me see if you can see good. Yeah. So these are Hertz tweeters. Uh, they're around one hundred and sixty dollars. You can buy these tweeters from Amazon or eBay. They are very good quality. Um, you can also get tweeters from thirty dollars and up. You can get the EXL tweeters, the one on the EXL trim, Pioneer with crossovers built in, so you don't have to buy the crossovers for like thirty dollars or forty dollars both sides. Um, I also had to get this garnish, the plastic with already you know the holes from different trim these the plastic or the garnish was around fifty dollars for both sides tweeters were one hundred and sixty dollars for both sides and then I bought also crossovers for thirty dollars <laughs> for both sides good quality crossovers uh, the company that sold me these Hertz tweeters they said oh you gotta get crossovers which are Hertz brand but those are one hundred dollars each so that's extra two hundred dollars for crossovers and I was like, mm -mm, I'm not gonna do that. Forget about that. So I just got these for thirty dollars. Um, I don't remember Parts Express, the, the 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 website where I got the crossovers from. So um, the way these tweeters are connected is that plus and minus for from the tweeter, it's connected. I, I secured the crossover here. There are pre-drilled holes here behind the door. You gotta remove the whole panel, you know, to install the tweeters. I so plus and minus from the speaker. From the tweeter to uh, um, to the out of the crossover because that's the out and then from the door speaker uh, uh, the plus and minus to the in of the crossover and then the out of the crossover plus and minus goes to the tweeter uh, they came out pretty good uh, I like the quality the thing is that you got to remove the whole door panel it's not that hard to do it but it's gonna take you roughly around I would say three to four hours to install these tweeters because you got to secure them you know you got to make sure it's nicely secured you know and uh, um, the wires are nicely connected you know here it's on the other side they came out pretty good let me show you how they sound let's try to find a good example it's very clean. There you go. Um, so that's how they sound. Uh, I also installed something else in the car. Uh, those are I installed two USB charging ports for. The, for the rear seats, I'm gonna show you now. Let me shift it some light. Okay, now it is. Um, so it took me roughly an hour and a half to install those. Let me show you. Uh, here they are. Um, they're illuminated like a soft blue in the dark. Um, I removed this part, the plastic is very easy to remove. You know, just make sure you don't scratch it. Then I had to drill holes here on one on each side do the measurements well and then uh, uh, you screw them from the other side and there's also um, a hot glue gun that I used so they are nicely secured sturdy you know they charge really well it's a great addition 
Uh, the way you install these is that you basically connect the plus and minus from these to any plus and minus like a 12 uh, volt power you know output whatever there's also one here so you can connect them plus and minus from uh, both sockets behind this you know you can cut the wire and just connect them directly and then you know make sure you isolate the wires you know very simple to install um, these are like eight dollars each Amazon or eBay um, they look really good I was in doubt uh, you know if I should in, if I should get the part from the EXL trim and uh, put the part with uh, uh, you know the uh, I don't know how you call those the vents yeah the vents because you can also install the vents I'm gonna tell you now about uh, these are 2.0 charging ports they work they illuminated in the dark very nice um, so yeah you can install the part from the EX or any trim you know that has the vents so what I was thinking is installing these or getting the part with the vents just putting it like that without making it work or you can get the one with the vents make it work it's gonna cost you around two hundred dollars to make it work you gotta remove all this the whole center console there's a lot of work maybe five six hours of work and uh, I don't know I don't think the parts from uh, the other train will completely work so maybe you have to do some adjustments you know here or there uh, so yeah I had the choice to install these install the vents working vents or install working vents with these somewhere here but it's gonna be too low or uh, just installing the vents, but I went with this. It's something that is gonna work. You know, it's uh, a lot of cars have the vents. So I was like, okay, I'll just skip that. What what else I can do to the car? I was thinking of uh, tinting the tail lights. That's gonna cost me like forty dollars, but I don't know. For now, I'm okay. You know, with uh, the way they are. Um, what you can do to any part of the car, including this part. What I was thinking, getting a, a real carbon fiber starter kit. Uh, you know uh, put the sheet with the carbon fiber here and then do the epoxy the glossy thing uh, it's like four to seven days work you know just for this part a lot of polishing a lot of different you know few layers of resin and then sanding and then uh, polishing and then clear coat it's a great result or oh, what you can do also to any part of the car is you can do that this hydro planning thing that's what I think the name is it's actually like um, I don't know, uh, like a tin plastic imitation, you know, like it's like a layer a sheet of like real carbon fiber, and uh, it, it looks almost real. They also apply a clear coat, so I might send this. It's a lot cheaper to do it. You can do it with any part of the car, so you can do real carbon fiber or just, just this hydro planning, which is maybe like four times cheaper than real carbon fiber. Um, you can, uh, you know. You can make any part of the car with real carbon fiber or this hydro planning. Uh, just that you have to remove the part. For example, this part, this is still a dash kit from uh, Remin that Remin produces. If you remove this part from here, you know, there are only clips. You can completely have it covered with real carbon fiber. Not only this, but also this, you know. But I'm okay with this as it is. I don't think, you know, I might do hydro planning on this, but I'll think about it. And on these on the sides. You know, maybe I'll do these. They it will cost me maybe like uh, it's kind of blurry. Dang, this phone is it sucks. Um, so yeah, uh, I can do these on the sides. You know, this one and then that one on this side. Um, that might cost me like twenty-five dollars a piece to do it. Um, and then let's talk about the uh, other possible upgrades you can do to the car. So like I said, you can put the vents from a different uh, trim, make them work or just have that part here. You can install these. What else you can do is that, you see the tweeters? There's also a dash kit for the tweeters, parts for them. Let's say this here and that here. You can, you can put like real carbon fiber dash kit there. Then this one here on the top, this you can cover it with real carbon fiber. Um, and then there's also real carbon fiber if you get the vents for around the vents here if you're not doing carbon fiber on you know the whole piece um and then what you can do is that you can get the you can get cushions you know that you can plug in into the 12 vol volts 
over there or here, you know. And then you can have heated seats if you want to. Very simple thing to do. Um, you can get cover for this with real carbon fiber. I think they go for like $30, $40, something like that. What else you can do to the car is that you can install like this, the whole part here, this thing. You can remove it and get it from three to five hundred dollars top screen 10 inches or eight inches with uh antenna to watch tv live tv like local digital channels you can have apple car carplay android carplay uh, navigation uh, you can install it it's like plug direct plug-in you know piece very simple to install um there's a little bit of things that you have to remove but it's not that bad then you can have a tablet here if you want to this something that you remove and then there's something that you add like a mini tablet from a, a, a Apple mini tablet something like that uh, and then you can have the you know the lights you know here and on this side too I don't know how you call those lights I don't like those because I don't think it makes sense to me to have um, you know illuminated uh, feet especially where usually it's dirty you know my car is not that dirty it's I keep it clean you know um, but having this side or this here illuminated uh, it kind of make no sense maybe it looks cool but not logical to me um, so let's see what else you can do to the interior yeah I think that's it you know there's always something you can do to the car but there should be a point where you should say okay enough is enough you know, there's always something better. There's only there's always something that you can do more. But you know, uh, uh, you can't just keep doing it. Sometimes you just should stop and enjoy the vehicle. You know, um, I think that's it. Uh, there's, I don't know, some people they have like a sliding door for the cup holders here. I think you can get it online if you want to. Um, and then you know, there's always something you can do. You know, change the seat. You know, make the seat like this or like that. Whatever. Um, put like carbon fiber here where the emblem is. You know, you can get that those pieces if you want to. Um, I'm gonna put sat. I mean, navigation from Garmin. It's marked Smart Drive, Drive Smart, something like that. Uh, seven inch. It's pretty cool. Um, pretty cool navigation. All right, let's let's talk about the possible upgrades outside. Oh, it's a beautiful day today. It's around maybe 40. <laughs> That's quite a lot here. <laughs> 40 is quite a lot. So um, let's start from let's start from the front. So what you can do, what some people do, they will tint this part here in the back, or maybe the whole, you know, everything here. And then what you can do, it's uh, some people like to paint this part here in the color of the car, you know, maybe white or. You know, whatever you prefer then you can change this grill for a sport grill I think this one looks nice or you can paint this actual grill in a black you can do that too uh, then what you can put here it's a hood deflector something like that right here black one so the grill sport grill maybe 2250 um, the deflector maybe like 100 150 uh, Let's see, you know, some people would like to lower the car or uh, upgrade, you know, put some new rims, then plastic dip the rims, uh, put bigger rotors, you know, different type of discs, you know, uh, tune the engine, uh, put a different exhaust, make the car louder. You can do that too if you want to. Uh, then on this side, what you can do is you can replace these with the models from the Touring uh, and the EXL with the light here and also the heated mirror you know those are around 2 to 50 each and uh, this you know in order to connect them you got to remove the panel I believe on this side and the other side uh, then connecting the cable might be a little bit tricky but there are some tutorials online you might be able to do that that's a really nice thing to do but uh, I think I'm okay with this you can black out the roof you know wrap it in black if you want to you can get carbon fiber, real carbon fiber exterior kit from, you know, from Remen or from Car ID for here. And then you can have this in real carbon fiber if you want. And then this piece, you can paint, paint it in black, this one too. Some people like to black out these. 
you can get the body side moldings for here you know and then uh, you can get the trim it's a chrome trim for here on the bottom so um the chrome trim is around 200 dollars model moldings around 200 the exterior kit maybe like i don't know 150 you know something like that uh, and then you can get doors side uh, guard i don't know edges edge guards whatever they're called for here with the color of the car for like maybe 50 bucks for all four sides um so yeah i didn't do anything to the engine but if you want to do it you can do it then what some people would do is that they will put a different spoiler but i'm gonna keep this one you can black out this one some people prefer a different emblem let's say in red or maybe blacking out this one and this part you can paint it black if you want to this uh chrome too the car has i think enough chrome on it i'm not gonna put some more chrome you can uh, tint i'm gonna tint maybe a little bit the tail lights just a little bit because now they're dark but maybe i can do a little bit better uh you can get this in real carbon fiber you know from Ryman. and uh let me see what else if i have missed something uh, there are so many things that you can do to the car you know different diffuser in the back uh, so many things you know like I said different tips some people prefer different tips for the exhaust you know here or there they put like quad exhaust or something like that um, but yeah I think that should be it if I do any other upgrades there will be part three but I'm probably gonna stick to these and you know not do that much something extra to the car because I think the car looks okay as it is. Uh, I told you already about the touch screen. There are some uh, uh, some people online or companies. They will sell you. Let me just turn this off. They will sell you a kit. So you can connect or mirror your phone directly to this IMID display. It's going to cost you like two, three hundred dollars I think. Something like that. Uh, so it's direct mirroring. You can watch TV or like uh, Apple apple tv on that you know there are just so many things that you can do to the car you know you can upgrade this maybe get something wider or something like that you can put parking sensors you know and then what you can do you can get a cover for the rear over there yeah so for that part here you can get a cover if you want to but um i think that should be it let me see. Yeah, that should be it. You can get this, for example, in uh, real carbon fiber or any other material. About the ramming uh, dash kit, you don't have to get it only in real carbon fiber. All right? You can get this kit in any color of the real carbon fiber. Let's say red, green, yellow, blue, whatever color you prefer. You know? You can get it in uh, aluminum. Uh, any type of wood. You know? Just that you have to wait like four to six weeks maybe for you know for them to manufacture the part but yeah it, def it definitely definitely you know worth it to wait it's a really cool addition to the car you know it looks really nice very classy yeah and i think i said everything yeah you can get a cover you know for the steering wheel it's it's thicker you know plus you you know the letter that the steering wheel has it's uh, kind of more like protected when I install the navigation I'm gonna put it here in the corner and then the wiring I'm gonna do it you know I'm gonna hide it underneath there and I'm, I'm gonna connect it behind this like everything else that I have um, so uh, you know it doesn't bother me here I this is just one cable that I have here like I said before to charge my phone yeah and uh, I think that's it thanks for watching if you have any questions or comments or something that I missed I know there are a lot of things that you can do to a car, you know, just, uh, you know, put the comment below, like the video if you like it, <laughs> uh, if not, nothing bad, uh, yeah, so yeah, if, if I'm upgrading something else, you know, I don't think I should do a lot of things to the car, I'm gonna make a video part 3, but that should be it for today, thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you next time. Yeah. All right.